I found this form online recently and it's beautiful, but I don't think it's very good. And I'm going to show you why. So this is the Lemon Squeezy website and I'm going to go to create a new product. And there's three issues that come up here. Firstly, it's that this is in a modal. So a modal means it is transient. It can quickly be dismissed by clicking off of it. And the only real reason to have a modal like this, a side modal, is if you needed this context. But as you saw, it doesn't really respond like a normal modal because it gives me a dialogue prompting me to say, do I want to close it without saving changes? And also this side of the screen grays out. So clearly I'm not meant to be looking at anything over on the left, but it just feels squashed in on the right hand side. It's not even taking up a full half width and it's all squashed together. The second big issue is this about accordions. So you can see there's lots and lots of sections. And the first time I looked at this, I didn't even realize that that's what was happening until I scrolled down. But there's so much going on. And these accordions are clearly here to kind of disguise how long the form is and to make it feel like it's shorter. But it just makes it feel really overwhelming, especially when they're all collapsed like this. I'd much rather see some kind of indication up at the top saying this is how much further you've got to go. The very last thing, which is a big problem, is these buttons, which are publish and save as draft. Obviously, you want those to be accessible at all times, but they take up so much height and you can see they're obscuring stuff over here. And overall, there's just so much stuff which is crammed in and made not to fit very well. And it makes the whole thing feel overwhelming. Now, this isn't just a visual design problem. I actually think a lot of the visual design and UI components used here look really good. But because of the way it's been laid out and the UX, the experience of it, it makes it feel really stressful to fill out. And that's not what you want, if, especially if you're new to selling products on the internet, new to e-commerce, this is quite an overwhelming form. So what I'm gonna do is have a stab at redesigning it. Perfect, so I think that looked great. Uh, let me show you what I've done. So I brought the existing side form into Figma using this great plugin called HTML2Design. So I have this all here in Figma for reference. And then what I did is I thought about how to best break up the form. I knew it was too many questions to have on a single page. So I wanted to break it up into three pages. So this first page is all the core information. So name, description, pricing, price, and tax category. The second page is media. So preview images for the product and then uh, files that you get access to and links you get access to after purchasing. And then I also moved license keys here because that felt similar to things you get access to. And then this last page was just, you know, final options, final settings before pressing publish. And what I wanted to do throughout this redesign was use an idea called progressive disclosure. And that means not showing the users too much upfront. So as an example, the pricing on the original form had loads of options, graduated pricing, volume pricing. I just hid all of those under advanced pricing options because for most users, they won't care about that stuff and they just want to get a product live. I've done a similar thing for create a variant of a product and here for custom confirmation modal and custom email receipt. That's really made sure that this form is as simple as possible. You get something with good sensible defaults up to start with. And then over time, if users get more comfortable with a the product, they can customize it a bit further. The other thing I've done is move all of this help text, which was below each form field in the original side form and just put it over in a side panel. Now, I think for desktop, this is gonna be really good. Obviously for mobile, this will have to stack again, but I think on desktop, it's just really clear what you're filling out. And if you need help, you can turn to the right and read that there. The last thing I'll share about this redesign is this page one of three. My idea here was to have a little drop down which showed you where you were in the form progress and if you'd completed that section or not completed it. So if you'd saved a draft, you could very quickly jump back to where you were. And this of course comes from the amazing gov.uk GDS design system where I steal all my good form design practices from. Anyway, that was my redesign. So hopefully you can see how that has made that form so much easier to use so much less stressful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button below or consider subscribing. It really helps me as I try and grow out this channel and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.